in this video we take a look at how to create a very simple black friday flyer like this in photoshop and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to the channel over here we do photoshop tutorials and tech reviews so if that's something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing now inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using so you might consider downloading them and practicing over now let's get into photoshop and let's get started now i'm going to do all of this in photoshop 2021 but this should work with any version that you are using the first thing we need to do is we're going to create a new document so you head over to file and then new or control n to create a new document now i'm going to create a document of four by four inches and then i'm going to leave my resolution at 300 and go ahead and click on create now you should have something like this the first thing we need to do is we are going to add a gradient overlay now this is going to be very simple tutorial so you head over to the create new fill or adjustment layer and then you left click on it head over to the gradient section over here and then you are going to click on the gradient bar here now this is the colors that i'm going to use but of course you can use any color especially depending on the device or the gadget or the type of image that you are using so over here these are the colors that i'll be using for this tutorial this will be the first one and this is going to be the second one now when you are done with everything you go ahead and click ok and then you head over to the style and then you are going to change this to radial now the next thing you do is you are going to reverse the whole of this gradient so that we would have something like this and now we can go ahead and click ok now this is the gradient that we are going to use the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to import in the wristwatch that we are going to use for this project and we are going to use that also as a background so i head over to file and then place embedded and i'm going to place the watch that i'm going to use i got a couple of the watches for you so you can try with any one of them now i'm going to right click on the layer and rasterize it i'll choose my eraser and make sure that all of these ones are off something like that and we are actually going to use this as the main image as well so what we can do here is we can make a duplicate and hide the first one and then we can go back to the first one press ctrl plus shift plus u and it is going to desaturate it now head over to the blending mode here and we are going to set it to overlay and we are going to press ctrl t transform it a little like this and drag it to this very side so somewhere around here so you can open it up some more like that and then we are going to lower the opacity over here way very low so somewhere around here 10 12 percent should be fine now once we're done with that we head over to our shapes and then we are going to choose the rectangle too we are going to create a very simple rectangle like this and then we can go ahead and double click on the layer thumbnail over here and give it a color from somewhere here so something like that and these colors are obviously from the black watch or the watch that we will be using so i'm going to turn this one on here and then you can see that this is exactly the type of watch that we are using so i can place it somewhere around here but the concepts that actually came in mind was to open this one up some more and then i'm going to rotate it like this what do you think between the first one and this which one would you prefer so i can place it somewhere around here now we want to transform this one a little bit smaller like that and drag it over here i think this place looks quite okay so something like that and then we can double click and this looks very okay now the next thing we do is we right click on this layer go to the blending options here and then we can add a couple of effects to it so the only effect we're going to add is the drop shadow so something like this we make sure that the size is 73 and then the spread is 11 
and the opacity is 51 now you go ahead and you click ok now we can go ahead and add our test and for this video i used just one font so the name of the font is going to be bebas Noel. i'll leave a link in the description if you want to download that as well so we pick our test tool by hitting on the t and then we are going to type black friday sales now we are going to select all the test and then we are going to change that to white now you can see from here that the test has landed and you can do that by going to the toggle character and turning off this fox italic and it's going to be slanted now what we want to do is we want to select the sales over here and we are going to increase the font to make that one way bigger like this and if that happens it means that it is overlapping on the black friday so we are going to open it up some more like this one and then we can press ctrl t to open the whole of the test like that and we can position it over here as simple as that now we want to right click on this particular test and go to the blending options and for that also we are going to add an alter glow to it so we select the alter glow and this is the color that i used you can copy that as well and for the settings i chose a spread of 23 and then the size of 38 so you realize that if you increase the spread that is how it actually looks like and if you increase the size also this is how it actually looks like so for your test you can decide to play around with what works best for you and you can basically go around with that so after you're done with this you go ahead and then you click ok now we are going to push this to this very side a little bit like that and then we are going to make a duplicate so ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we will drag it over here we are going to pick our test tool and we are going to change the font to so we change it to something like this and then we can press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit to make it way smaller so somewhere around here and then we can double click on the fx over here to take us back into the blending options and we are going to change the effect so the only thing we are going to change over here will be the color of the outer glow so we are going to give it a color like this one let's go for red something like a red and we can increase the opacity over here also and once we're done with that we can go ahead and click ok now for the last test we are going to pick a rounded rectangle create a rounded rectangle over here something very small like that and then we are going to pick our test tool and write over here by now now we're going to select all of that go to the color palette over here and change the color to the dark blue and click ok and now we can drag it into a rounded rectangle and we can try to open it up somehow bigger like this one now we want to go back to this black friday sales over here right click on it and copy the layer style go back to your rounded rectangle that you created right click again and go to paste layer style so you realize that the outer glow that we added to the black friday has also been copied onto the rounded rectangle now it's time to add the elements the first element i'm going to add will be a triangle a normal triangle so you pick your triangle to if you are using any version lower than 20 20 20 21 you have to use the polygon too so but in the 2021 you have the triangle so we are going to create a very simple triangle like this one and we are going to make sure that the color remains white you can transform it a little bit like that and position it over here now we are going to make some three more two more duplicates so ctrl j to duplicate this and then we can bring it over here press ctrl t and you can transform it a little smaller like this and then you can make another duplicate and drag it over here so something like that the second element that we are going to add will be in the exercise file so this graphical geometric elements i'm going to open that and then we are going to copy a couple of things from here so the first thing you do is you unlock it pick your magic one two or any one of them like the magic one two 
make a selection and then you're going to delete this so that it will be png now you can go ahead and choose your rectangular marquee tool and you can select any one of these geometric elements or graphical elements that you want so i'm going to copy this particular one that i've selected and i'm going to send it onto a uh, document now we place it right over here somewhere around this place right click on it and go to the blending options and now you can give it a different color so choose the color overlay over here and we are going to select the color and give it the color white it is that very simple now you can press ctrl t to transform it and make it a little bit bigger if that's exactly how you want it now we go back into the graphical element and we are going to delete the one that we just copied now we see this beautiful one also here we're going to copy that and then we are going to send it into a document and place it right on top over here we can press ctrl t to transform that as well and then we can position that also over here and just like that you create a very simple black friday sales flyer for your business which you can post on social media especially since black friday is starting very soon don't forget that the resources will be linked up in the description if you want to download and then practice this over i hope you learned something out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye